How a regular cypher round got me smoked on a big stage in my first big stage competition. Understand the difference so it won't happen to you. Focus, focus. Knowledge drop time. This is Focus of the Flow Moke Fru, bbodojo.com and Cypher Studio. Today we dive into the science of battling again. To make you understand why an ill cypher round would not get you the same if any results on a big stage. We'll have to take it back to my first big stage competition back in 2003. I had already made a lot of noise in tons of battles, both local and international, uh, in, in Finland and also outside the country, for smaller size events. And the scene around my, my area was very, very much cypher oriented. So that was the surroundings I came up with as a b-boy. I had already done a bunch of shows for thousands of people, big stages. But as far as competing on a big stage, 101, with thousands of people as, as the audience, this was something pretty new. So this specific weekend in October 2003, I had already taken my flight to London to travel to UK B-Boy Championships World Finals in 2003. Back then it was no eliminations, it was all invitational, invitation only. I had already hit up Hooch, the main organizer of the event, that I wanted to come and rock the solo battles. He had never heard about me this far. So he said, nah, it might not be possible. In case somebody cancels, I might have a reserve spot on the list. But that's up to a chance. So I got to London and rocked the pre-party on the first day. In case you have seen the Skill Methods DVD, you know it's pretty raw. Majority of the rounds on the whole DVD is from that pre-party. So there was a lot of action there. On to the main day, got to the main event, mad long queue outside, but I managed to find Hooch and I managed to talk him over. I got my spot. So suddenly I'm there on the stage in Brixton with 5,000 people in the audience. They call my name and I'm going against UK's own crowd's favorite Lil Tim. The surroundings was all new. Walking in from the backstage, seeing your opponent on the other side of the stage, far, far away. And the battle is on. Lil Tim goes first. He's in his element. He's quick, confident, uses the space and keep contact while battling. He's not messing around. He's not there to play. When I get in, a typical thing happens. I throw in a decent round, that's good for Cypher. Some content in the round, hit the beat with the freeze and all. But you can tell I'm not in my home element. I'm on an unknown ter territory and that shows. So there I go and I lose the first round, straight away. Tim's back with the response. Another flip, long solo but a few mistakes, but overall, in this context, a very strong second round. He lets it be known that he means business. My second round, I kind of step up my game. I start strong, but the end is pretty weak to be honest. So downhill from here, <laughs> and it's painful to watch. You can also tell by the way that I walk out from the round, that I didn't even believe in myself winning that battle. And it's official, my first big stage battle, and I just got smoked by Lil Temp. See, when you walk there to a new environment, you can't expect things to work out naturally like that. If you haven't visualized yourself winning that battle a million times before the actual battle happens, most likely you end up going home. If you're not ready to make it into a show, take notice of the audience, take notice of the stage settings, take notice of the judges, and most likely you end up looking really bad. Your content might even be super ill, but if your state of mind is still there in the back cipher, your, your rounds just simply won't work. The pressure will surprise you. 
the first time she rocked those stages. And up there you feel like an ant on a big football field. And I guess only through a record of lost battles, you'll eventually start winning them too. You'll understand how to shift and scale your approach according to the surroundings. And I'm not saying that you have to do just blow up some power in order to win a competition. But experience will teach you how to turn your, your tops, your footwork, all of your content into a blow up. So that your approach matters and you can make a statement with your rounds. See, I didn't lose to Lil Tim in this battle. I lost to myself. And that was the moment where I decided that's never going to happen again. But that won't happen to you unless you step up, put your rep on the line and learn by first getting smoked. And that's because diamonds are formed under pressure. But never forget, they are not formed overnight. Next up, head out to bboydojo.com for more free inspiration and knowledge. This is Focus signing out with the knowledge drop. Catch you on the next one. Stay safe.